Hey guys, this is Junior Creator, and in this video, we are taking a look at NVIDIA, Tesla, QQQ, and SPY. So let's start it off with NVIDIA. So what are we looking in this price section with NVIDIA is the play that we have been talking about, right? So we talked about once we flushed below the $476 level, we called out that watch for any price action at around this 50 days moving average, which is $450 range we talked about. We went as low as $450 precisely. Uh, you can see right over here, right? So this is the level we talked about. And we have it in the downtrend on NVIDIA. Now, so this was one side, one leg of the cool off play that we talked about. Now that play is technically part of it is completed. This phase is complete. Now, we have to look at the price action and understand more what can we expect from NVIDIA now around this 50 days moving average. And if any bounce comes, how long up can that come up to? And if it doesn't see the bounce, what are those trigger areas where we could be expecting more downside on it? So let's jump into hourly interval and let's talk more about it. So going down to the hourly interval with NVIDIA, well, we have been in a classic downtrend, right? We And we have been calling this out, right? This has been, we talked about it, guys. Okay, expect now the downside and the cool off as it's happening, lower highs, lower lows. And we precisely called out $450, right? I can't emphasize this hard enough, right? That's where our base touchdown was. Now, we have NVIDIA in this channel. So, so far, you know, it has been, uh, here we go. And then if I even pull it back, you can see we have complete alignment. Uh, here we go, right? We have the uh, rejection, the levels are holding very well. So Nvidia came down to the bottom of the channel. Now, can it revert back? Well, that reversion is possible all the way to this mean reversion line and we are in a quite a descending steep slope to the downside, so yes. A pullback is healthy, it's expected. So, can that bounce come? Well, if Nvidia goes tomorrow up on intraday, that will that can be a long play, but remember I'm saying intraday only. That would be the level of up to 461. If it wanna come up, it can come up to there, 461, but that's where it will tap out as at least for the price action right now. And if we break below 451 now on Nvidia, then you can start expecting more downside on it and the level to watch the downside would be then guys 437 okay so in the recent price section this is the next good important level to watch 437 on the hourly interval now and again um guys if these levels automatically which are marked by my indicator and everything you need access to it the link is in the description below and these are part of my memberships and there's also 40% discount going on on my memberships and there are two right now bronze and silver bronze covers indicators and silver also covers wall street real time alerts and also the day trading bot that i have right now also comes with the silver membership soon it will be mid of december going to be the part of my newer membership that day trading bot um and this is only until mid of December that 40% discount is ongoing. After 15th of December, this discount 40% will go away. So if you wanna join, this is the time to join. Okay, now going back to the daily interval on NVIDIA, yeah, pretty much 439 or 437, the level we have been talking is a confluence with the daily interval as well here. If we fail 50 days moving average, that's the level we have to be watching for the next price action. But if we break, if we close any day below 50 days moving average now, guys, I expect NVIDIA to come down to $409. So that's pretty much the game on NVIDIA. Alrighty, let's talk about Tesla now. So Tesla hasn't been doing really much, right? It's been just chopping around for how long? So it was 23rd of November. So it's been two weeks that this thing has been just chopping around here. Now, looking at the price action today, well, our board is showing us that we are bearish, quite bearish. Now looking at the board right now, if we break below this level of 232 guys tomorrow and closes below it, 
it will start becoming bearish tesla i don't think then 200 days moving average will hold i think it will break it and then we'll start heading lower and lower on tesla in my opinion we need to hold this level of 232 to 234 otherwise it's not looking good for tesla now taking a look at hourly interval it's the pretty much the same story guys on tesla it has confirmed some some bearishness yes and you know and that bearishness is also due to the fact that you know we are below you know this 220 and 50 hours moving average now so that's a problem okay so yeah don't uh you know try to buy the falling knife right now again there are plays like you know at least on the swing side is looking to the downside and if we break below 232 dollars level that's the problem right that's what we have been talking about on daily interval then tesla can be heading a lot lower in my opinion and this time 200 days moving average in my opinion will not hold okay now let's take a look at qqq and spy so qqq showed some sell-off today it was bought back up and where is it getting bought back up is precisely at that 20 days moving average right now but as if we break below it then i can i'm expecting a cool off on it to 373 uh, on qq i'm gonna keep qq very simple right now for today guys let's take a look at spy a spy has tabbed out at this recent high right I expect a cool off again like I don't expect spy to keep running up and at this point as if we cool off starts happening I expect spy to come down to the level of 438 and first level is 444 I expect spy to come down there but all in all right now it's again but it's a long play above 459 if we break out of it <laughs> this can keep running up so yeah um Let's take a look at hourly interval as well on SPY just to see what's happening today. Yeah, this thing has gotten quite uh, stagnant up here on the top. So, yeah, I would say break below the level of 455. You can start looking play to the downside. Yeah, break below 455. You can start looking to the downside. Otherwise, it's still a... Yeah, I, I don't want to really buy at this place, but if you're looking for the downside play that's below 455 confirmation you have to wait for that though right but that will be pretty much there um but yeah i think it's yeah yeah i think it's looking weak for the downside on on spy guys well this is it for this video guys i hope you found it helpful and valuable if you did please hit the like and subscribe and i'll see my next video take care bye